Because if I could just check that, there's the, both of these we're looking at as a checklist. Up and down the bat, uh, not too high and not too far apart and just nicely balanced on the handle. Look for the V's, hands not too high and hands not too far apart. Now, what, what can you see here, Steve, with this grip that Scott's got at the moment? Look like my, the way I used to bat. <laughs> the, uh, obviously the bottom hand is far too far around. Now when the hand does go around too far, we start to have too much bottom hand dominance. Once we have too much bottom hand dominance, the bat goes towards point, stroke gully, and will be hitting across the line through the onside. Any bowler worth his salt will take a very short time to get you nicked out or, or knocked over early. Playing across the line of the ball means playing at the ball with the downswing of the bat coming through at an angle to the line of the ball. The face of the bat is closed to the line of the ball, giving it less surface area of the bat to hit the ball. This increases the chances of the ball being edged behind to the keeper or the slips. The face of the bat is open to the line of the ball, allowing the bat to hit the ball with the full face of the bat. This is what happens when you play the correct line. So what, as I said, we've got to try to get that bottom hand around. If that hand dominates, it goes there and hits across the line. So if a player is playing predominantly onside shots, uh, part of the problem could be that the bottom hand is too far around. That would be a good place to start looking. Well, it's one of the identifiable uh, issues. You, you can say, well, why am I scoring everything through the, uh, through the onside? Why can't I have a little more uh, balance through hitting through the offside? And you'll, you'll find that through that bottom hand, it pulls the head over, and to hit anything through the offside, you'll never to be turning inside out to play the ball. And it's obviously not going to be uh, ideal. As you're hitting the ball so comfortably through there, because that's coming through one line, if you're bowled upon by something on middle and middle leg stump, that's comfortable and you'll hit through there. But if it's off stump and you're trying to hit from a, from a bat that's been choked across the line, you'll find you'll have to turn inside out and you're offering catches regularly to the boy sitting there. Right, so if you're getting caught in the slips a lot, take a look at your grip perhaps. I think that's probably one of the uh, first things I'd do, yes. All right. The bottom hand being too far around on the bat handle causes the bottom hand to dominate in the grip and therefore the shots. This causes the bat to go too far toward gully in the back lift, resulting in the batsman playing across the line. Dominant leg side play could be caused by the bottom hand being too far around in the grip. The head is pulled over towards the offside, making it difficult to hit through the offside once the body falls away. Playing across the line means that you have to turn inside out to play a ball that is on off stump. If you notice you are getting caught out behind the wicket a lot, then check your grip for bottom hand dominance. Another common problem that some people may have, especially at younger ages, is having the hands too far apart on the handle. Yes, that, and that's, that once again doesn't give you the control you require. Now, the control comes from your top hand, that is your guiding hand, and if you just did it, put your hand behind your back, do what comes naturally and, and what's comfortable, to lift the bat up, you bring it straight back with the bat in that position to be able to come through with a full face. Once again, you take that one away, what comes naturally is out there and across the line. So once you have your hands too far apart, it puts pressure on the bottom hand again to be more dominant because you don't have the full control of the top hand. So therefore you get it back together again. Little, little, little work with the bottom hand. Uh, a guy called John Dyson used possibly two fingers on the bottom and he was technically one of the best players I've ever played with. So two fingers he used there and obviously an extension of that with a little more power uh, is, is the result of that. But get your hands a little bit closer together, too far apart, no control. Control in the grip and your shots comes from the top hand. When the top hand is in control of the bat, it allows the back lift to go back at the correct angle, allowing the full face of the bat to hit the ball. 